Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Today, you're coming along with me. So it's about seven in the morning now. I woke up around half six. I'm not gonna lie, I don't normally do that. I normally get up around half seven, eight, but the tides work out that I need to get in the water pretty soon. So get up early on special occasions. I'm sure you can already tell I'm not a morning person, but the alarm goes off. I jump out of bed straight away. Definitely don't spend half an hour on my phone. I then get into a bit of a mobility routine, nothing too strenuous, just warming up those joints. I believe I saw this warm up from Mick Fannin. Um, so if it works for him, it works for me. I also do find this a great way to actually wake myself up because as you can tell from the intro, I am really not very awake. I then sit down for a deep breath meditation to really get myself ready to go into the ocean and be at one with nature. Not really, I'm just doing this for a 30 day challenge for content on YouTube and I'm doing it in the morning and recently actually found out there's a reason why it's a lot easier to meditate in the morning than it is later at night but you will have to subscribe and wait for that video to come out to find out that reason but anyway let's go make some breakfast so yeah, this is the first time me trying this breakfast I was got my sports nutritionist and this is what she recommended. So I know you've had one of these yogurts before. It's pretty good. This is my first time actually putting yogurt in porridge. Um, before anyone comments, I know I made way too much, but I'm gonna have this go for a surf, come back and then have the rest of it basically. Yeah, let's give it a go. Now, it's not bad. I was thinking that I was gonna have to have the yogurt on, on its own and then just have the porridge with the raspberries myself, but well, it's pretty good actually. So, so I just finished my breakfast, I'm just gonna quickly pack my bag just full of snacks so when I, as soon as I come out to see I can start munching on those. So we're on our way to the beach. Go. So we're finally on our way to the beach. I say finally, we've actually done it in pretty good time. Like. When the surf's not that good, I feel like I can just faff for so, so long. But, um, at the house, quarter past seven, let's go. Cornwall is largely dependent on weather. It's a vastly different day if it's raining compared to if it's sunny. Show you now, bit hit and miss. So we'll, we'll see what happens. What I try and do is I always try and make my first surf in the morning, the one that I'm actually focused on trying to improve. Cause that's when motivation is a lot higher. I feel like I can conquer my day. By the time it comes to a second surf, chance I'm not gonna be as motivated to work on that one thing. I'm already pretty tired. So keeping that energy levels up is gonna be really hard. So that second surf will normally be more of a free surf, but half conscious, trying to work on things. And then we're gonna aim for a third surf. So normally I surf twice a day and it's gonna be, and it's three times if I don't have work in the evening. Yeah, normally surf one is always a training session. Surf two is normally half and half. It's sort of a conscious free surf. And when I say a conscious free surf, what I mean is I'm just surfing, but I'm analyzing what I did wrong and what I did right. And then normally the third one, complete free surf because I'm absolutely shattered. You can get a live reaction of what it's like. Oh shit, it's too high. <laughs> oh no. Okay, I'm pretty buzzed now. Right, let's get it. Gonna put them tunes on to get the surf sack in.
Right, so the sauce got pretty terrible now. That hasn't come in for about 20 minutes, which is lovely. Oh shit, my face. Sweet, so we just got back. Um, gonna hang my wetsuit up to dry. Hopefully it will be dry enough for the evening stuff, but I doubt it. Anyway, I'm gonna grab a quick shower, then we'll go for breakfast number two. Sweet, so we're back, all showered, all breakfast up, refueled, ready to go. Finally got out of the clothes I slept in as well. Always a bonus. So now I'm just gonna do some editing, which is obviously not very fun for you guys to watch, but then we'll probably go out, check the surf. But considering how bad it got towards the end, I'm I'm not hopeful for a surf anytime soon. So I'm gonna probably try and let it come in a bit and then probably try and snag two surfs nearer the evening. So for now, we'll just, we'll crack on with some editing. Sweet, so it's now midday. Brain is pretty frazzled. I'm gonna be like editing for an hour, but yeah. Got food in our microwave. I'll show you in a second. Got a pretty full bowl of pasta there with a bit of salad. Hopefully that's gonna fuel me enough for the next surf. Right, so we're heading out for surf number two. Going with a friend this time, teaching her how to surf. See how it goes. Just got out of the sea. That ah, was pretty rubbish surf to be honest. It was really weird, it was bumpy, tricky, but we got in, got it done. I probably should stretch before this next surf because I'm feeling pretty tired, mentally and physically. Should stretch, will I? Probably not. So for food we are going for a classic ham salad wrap. So I'm just gonna have these two and my cup of tea and then we, to be fair, probably by the time we have that, so it's probably gonna be time to go back in the sea again. And prep for the final surf of the day. I'm pretty tired, but jam and toast, keep me awake. So I'm not gonna take the GoPro out this time, but I may actually have someone filming from the beach. So well, if I do, then you'll see it right now. So on our way to our final surf, it's 20 past seven in the evening. My body's feeling it. I already know, as soon as I see the surf, I'll be psyched up, I'll be ready to go, I'm hoping.
half nine now, stayed in till dark. I'm gonna put some chicken in the oven, grab a quick shower, and then eat up. Really late dinner. Should have had dinner before I went in, but yeah, we are where we are. Anyway, gonna get showered up and I will catch you in a bit. All right, so it's like half 10 now. Normally I try and stretch after that third surf because I've also been quite a bit of surfing today. I'm gonna keep that to the minimum. I'm probably just gonna do five minutes of stretch and then just straight to bed because I am shattered. That is the den life. Drop down in the comments if you wanna see more videos like this. We've got tons of videos planned, but if you wanna see anything in particular, drop it down in the comments and yeah. Join along.